your most undervalued altcoin. Let's get into it. So Chris, today we are going to be taking a cheeky look at, uh, you know, the most undervalued altcoin as voted for by the community. So as we get into this, guys, if you do find this video useful, informative, maybe even a dash entertaining at times, then do go ahead and hit that like button. We both really do appreciate it. And of course, if you want to know about those hidden gems, learn about new cryptocurrencies and make money, why not consider subscribing to the channel? By subscribing, you're going to be kept up to date with everything we do here at Cheeky Crypto. It is free and you will stay well informed. So why not? Right, Chris, anything you would like to add before we jump down to the desktop and get into this undervalued altcoin? No, Nick, let's just get straight into it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I think people will guess what it is just from the smile on my face. Absolutely. This is VeChain. So the VET token is the most undervalued cryptocurrency in the market, at least according to a new poll um, and that way it has shown. Um, so VET beat things like Hedera, Hashgraph and Ravencoin to the throne with an overwhelming majority at a time when its price continues to chase that 10 cent milestone. So things are interesting, right? We've been talking about VeChain and the VET token for what feels like ever, at least the dawn of this particular YouTube channel. And it goes right back to when we first started. VeChain is definitely one of those projects that uh, we feel has such huge potential. We also did a video not that long ago saying why we think VET should actually be a top 10 cryptocurrency. And it's weird to think that VeChain has such a low market capitalization and it is chasing significant gains and we have seen significant gains so far. But this thing is uh, one of those projects, Chris, how do you put it? Uh, it ha it's one of those projects that you can wake up in the morning and know safe and sound that, that VeChain is not going anywhere. Isn't that right? Yeah, that's exactly it, Nick. Like, I, I barely feel like I even need to look at it. Like, it's one of those. I expect it to do well. It's got such a, a great use case and um, a great team. And it's it's a solid, you know, it's got the solid tech as well. So, you know, f for me, it's one of those. It's the last one. If I'm doing a check on all the 26 projects I'm invested in, um, this would be the last one that I, I check just because I'm that comfortable with it. Mm, absolutely. So this poll was conducted by Real Vision, a New York based broadcast media and financial research company, and it was put out on Twitter. Real Vision started off by requesting um, its 221,000 followers to submit the names of cryptocurrency projects that they believe were the most undervalued. And VeChain was by far the most popular pick. Uh, other coins that uh, got substantial submissions were things like Ravencoin and Hedera Hashgraph. HBAR and RVN um, yeah, were too close to call. Um, as such, both will go up against the single most popular response to this post and uh, you know the VET token in itself. So I think, um, yeah, we are invested in uh, Hedera Hashgraph as well as VeChain. And um, both are incredible projects, one a blockchain, one not so much a blockchain. So, you know, fantastic use cases that both have. But when it does come to seriously being undervalued, really have to look at what uh, a project is doing in the real world. And when it comes to VeChain, Chris, it's the only five star TERV rated blockchain service provider in the world. And that is a huge deal, specifically because they are, you know, targeting businesses and enterprises around the globe. Having a five star rating from Turf Saarland makes a huge difference. And not only is it the only five star rated blockchain in the world, it also does a lot in terms of supply chain management and also hospitality dabbling a little bit in NFTs and a whole host of other use cases. They have huge partners, partnerships like Walmart China, H&M, BMW, Renault, um, just to name a few. And I am deliberately leaving off the big guns as well, such as DNV, GL. Um, so this thing is absolutely massive. And the poll attracted, I think it was 140,000 votes in the end. And VeChain did emerge the winner. Um, it's a uh, Garrett, it got Chris, Imagine this, two thirds of all those votes. Um, so it, it didn't just demolish the, the competition there, it literally dwarfed them. And Ravencoin um, you know, was a distant second with 30% um, and Hedera Hashgraph 
at 3.6%. Um, so you can see just how significant uh, the differences are here. And I think Hadira potentially would have suffered a little bit because of the way that it's kind of been set up. But I also think that's one of its strengths. Um, but VeChain is set to soar, it does continue to do incredibly well. And despite winning the poll, uh, the most undervalued cryptocurrency, VeChain, has the highest market capitalization of all three. With its market cap of approximately 5 billion, it ranks, I think, 21st last time I checked. Um, this is just below Tron, believe it or not. Um, and the token is uh, trading at uh, 9 cents or 8.9, as you can see here on the chart. Um, and, you know, it will rise or has had a pretty decent rise, um, you know, for, I think it was there, let me just get my chart up here for a second, because 23 days it actually rose up here, right? We had a 23 day rise and we are just now consolidating sideways, getting ready to the next step. And VeChain has huge potential. So it's one definitely to be paying attention to and watching. And I'm really impressed, Chris, with just the number of people who are actually, you know, monitoring it and believe that VeChain is as undervalued as we do. You know, it's good to have some like-minded individuals out there. And VeChain's price has greatly benefited from the continued effort of VeChain Foundation. You know, those partnerships that continue to forge, uh, we've seen some with cosmetics companies, or most recently, even the aviation companies are getting involved with um, <laughs> with VeChain. And most recently, that ubiquitously uh, as well, a blockchain as a service firm that's building a solution on the VeChain for blockchain. So lots going on with VeChain, and it's a continuous piece of evolution um, for, for the team over there. And the foundation has partnered up with, as I said, that um, cosmetics company um, and the aluminium hydro uh, giant as well. Plus, Chris, as you mentioned the other day, Puff Bar over in the US. The list just does continue to go on and, and on and on. Um, but Sonny Lou does a fantastic job of leading that, right? And he's uh, very forthcoming with information. But he also revealed two weeks ago that his firm is also seeking to target um, decarbonization in line with the Chinese government. And VeChain has partnered with DNV um, and automotive industry giant BYD um, to build a proof of concept based on, the, on its blockchain. And uh, I guess, Chris, the Sync2 wallet also has come out recently and has been revealed um, it now supports the Ledger device. So that's definitely something I'm going to be testing out in the coming days. The Ledger hardware wallet, uh, link in the description if you haven't heard of those, um, you know, make um, it very safe to hold cryptocurrencies. And now you can obviously hold your, um, use your Sync2 app with the Ledger device. So Sync2 is VeChain's recently launched wallet app that opens up blockchain to a wider dApp integration. And the developer, only known as uh, <laughs> Libertoni, um, you know, attached a screenshot showing Sync2's integration with the Ledger um, via a tweet on Twitter, obviously. So definitely worth checking that out. And VeChain has yet to formally announce the integration, though um, it has been retweeted um, <laughs> the developer's tweet many times over. So I think there's so many things, Chris, going on with VeChain, and it's fantastic to see that it's finally getting acknowledged as that most undervalued coin. Um, I do think there are dozens of other undervalued coins as well, but when we really think about everything that VeChain has accomplished, there's very few blockchains out there that have done just this. But what are your thoughts, Chris? Well, I mean, this aligns exactly to everything that I've been saying for, for a very long time now. Um, it, well, it feels that way anyway. You know, I mean, how many times have I said that VeChain is the most undervalued uh, project in, in the space? I've said that quite a few times over, you know, a, a few months, you know, particularly sort of back in, in August, November and December. So, um, yeah, it aligns to that. I'm not surprised, um, to, to be seeing polls, you know, with outcomes like this, um, you know, sometimes we, we don't always see eye to eye on that, but you know, for me, it still is, even though, you know, we've seen over 3000% gains, it's still literally the, uh, the most undervalued project in the space, in my opinion. Absolutely. It really is. I'm just trying to figure out where our 3000 gains were. It was somewhere, was it may have been April, maybe even earlier than that, but nonetheless, um, fantastic gains have been made. If you were in this project super early, you would have uh, benefited from some significant growth in the token, the VET token. But of course it doesn't end there either, Chris, because when you hold the VET token and you put it inside that sync app, you earn yourself some sweet, sweet V4 tokens too. 
Mm. And um, a double, uh, a dual token system like VeChain, and you can earn both of them. That sounds like a, a really good, sweet deal. So you can earn yourself the V4 token while holding the VET token. So a pretty sound investment, for my, at least in my opinion. And I think uh, the V4 token is also going to become a very uh, lucrative in time as well. It's seen significant growth along with the VET token here. And I think that's going to continue as more and more businesses on board with VeChain. Uh, obviously, the, they are heavily incentivized to hodl the VET token in order to earn that V4 that's used as the gas on the network. And therefore, the VET and the um, V4 tokens will go up in value as more demand increases. So definitely something to be paying attention to there. And guys, hopefully you have found this video useful and informative, maybe even entertaining at times. If you have, then do go ahead and hit that like button. We both really do appreciate it. And of course, if you want to know more about hidden gems, learn about new cryptocurrencies and make money, then do consider subscribing to the channel. By subscribing, you're going to be kept up to date with everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. It is free and you'll stay well informed. So why not? And with this said, we hope everyone has a fantastic day and we'll catch you all in the next one. Yeah, take care.